Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Astral Create series. I am your host with the most Hey You the Ghost and I am so glad you guys are here today. Uh, today our plan is simple yet complex. We need to produce a redstone chip. The way we're going to produce that redstone chip is we need to get a spout with some molten copper in it. We need to get some wires. Uh, specifically, we're going to go for the copper wires. That's a little easier. Uh, or maybe the iron wires. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out uh, as we go. And then we need to press. Um, we're going to get all this on a belt. And we need to do this 12 times in order to turn one electron tube into one redstone chip. So that is the plan. But first, first I want to take where'd it go? our weighted ejector. And I want to make... A faster way back up here because last time we made ourselves a uh, kelp farm uh, as well as a uh, tree farm. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, we're, we're getting two trees or one tree here. Sweet. So that's working. It's working beautifully and it's going to plant some more stuff, which is going to be great. Yeah. Should be good. All right. So let's go ahead. We need to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to. That's not what I meant to do. No. There we go. We need to select that target there. We're going to pop down here. Can we... Does this work here? It does work here. Do we want to put it here, though? That's the question. Let's try it. We're going to try it right here and see if that works. Uh, so let's get our toolboxes down for a second. In fact, there's actually some stuff I need to put back in these toolboxes real quick. Um, not those, apparently, and not those, apparently. So we can put that back in there. Okay, so. Let's connect this up to this. Oh boy. Okay, we can do this. Yeah. We will need some shafts. <clears throat> we will need some gearboxes. Let's just do a couple of them for now. Like this. Just like that. Then... Hmm, actually... Might be better if we did just a regular gearbox here. And went straight over. And then straight down. shafts again. Get that one. There we go. And that should crank this guy down. Very, very slowly, apparently. Uh, actually, let's turn you back into that first. Then we can get out. Oh, that's right. My andesite casing. Beautiful. Now let's see if it worked. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, that worked. And now we got our quick way back up. So good deal. It just takes a minute or two to get it down. Um, could speed it up, but we're not going to do that right now. Uh, let's see. Our next step is we need a way to quickly and sufficiently get that molten copper. And the way we need to get that molten copper, I think, is through the melters. And with my one melter uh, already sort of melted up, we could do it here. Um, we could do it here, maybe just sort of have the thing going right here. But this is already pretty well, let's see, what's the word? Pretty well uh, used up all of its uh, kinetic energy, kinetic force. 
and stress. That's the other word. Ugh, easy for me to remember. Good grief. Um, we, I mean, we'll still use this to maybe maybe uh, mix up some of the stuff that we need. But let's see. We want to move this somewhere where it's going to actually do what we want it to do. And I think we might end up just putting it maybe like right here and just sort of borrowing from this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how many we're gonna need right now. Um, I didn't get that far far ahead. Let's. See. Let's see, we are going to need some of these chips. I gotta go at the bottom for circuitry and are most specialized for audio equipment such as those found in Phonos mod. That being said, they have just enough juice to create the tools that we need to visit the moon. Probably the first sequence recipe you'll need to take seriously. Hmm. Hmm, I think we end up uh, rather, it might be easier to make it in here. Like, pull it up and put it right there. Uh, actually, maybe not. Not with all of this shut down. Uh, yeah, we're going to make it in the other room, but we do actually need some of this gravel. Do need some of the gravel. I uh, actually don't know if I need that much, but we do want some gravel for some grout. If I can get out the daggone door. All right, so with the new melter, uh, we are going to need um, some seared bricks. In order to make the seared bricks, we're going to need the grout, I believe. Let's see, the grout takes gravel, alloy, and zinc, I believe. I don't think we need that much, but throw in... Do 32, that'll be 4, right? So I need 32 in, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 of these guys, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 of these guys? Is that right? Let's see if that worked. We got 32 grout. Sweet deal. Now I believe we can throw the grout in here, and that should turn into seared bricks. I hope. Once we get the seared bricks, we're gonna go need to go get some sap. As soon as this turns into seared bricks. Hope it doesn't just disappear on me. Oh, there we go. Sweet deal. We got our seared bricks. Nice. Alright, seared bricks acquired. We need sap which means that we need to get our hands on another tap. Let's see, I can't remember how to make the tap exactly. Let's see, tap. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Do, 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 and one more to boot. There we go. Let's go get that sap. Now we're just going to go ahead and, instead of grinding up the few bits of rubber trees that we got from back there we're just gonna go ahead and grab some sap from here oh there's one we're just we're not gonna really worry about getting too many or too much mm. just gonna grab what we can see mostly do 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 do, 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 do. Eventually we'll come back through here and maybe cut these trees down because we don't really need them anymore. Alright, we got 21. 21 is enough. And it's starting to get dark. Gonna have to go to sleep pretty soon. Do, 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 do. Alright, back up top. We need to turn this seared bricks into uh actually what do we need let me take a look real quick because we need specific things let's see we need uh seared we need a seared melter and which means we need a seared heater as well so seared melter we'll need 
12 bricks and some zinc and a fluid tank. Then for the heater, we just need the seared bricks in a square. Okay, so that's easy enough. Another seared heater. Um, let's see. I guess... I just need one, two, three, four, right? So we'll just do those, and then we'll go one, two, three, four, and do those. Should turn everything into what we need. Yes. B E A U T full. Ooh, getting dark. Getting dark. Gotta go to sleep. Lest the monsters come out and get me. All right, next step. So we got this. We've got um, most of this. I think we need to use, what, zinc here, here. And, oh, man. Of course. We need. Did I leave them? I left them down there, didn't I? <laughs> All right, so uh -huh. fluid tank. Bricks like that. Zinc, zinc, zinc. Bada bing, bada boom. We got ourselves another seed. Uh -huh. Melter. Now, with that completed, uh -huh. we can. Let's see. How much? I don't have that much iron. Uh -huh. Like at all. So, no, it's alright. We can. Uh, too far away to put this fluid tank away. There we go. Now. Let's see, what do we need? We need to go set this stuff up, don't we? Uh, actually, let's... Oh, went off the wrong side. Well, I'll pick those up real quick. And, boop! There we go. There we go. Um, yeah, we're gonna do right in here, I think. So let's pop these down here. And we need not that. I want to put that away real quick. We need shafts. Mm. Actually, let's grab ourselves a fluid tank first and let's see we want no you know what let's throw the melter down first so melter here then heater here we're gonna need something to as a fuel source. Mm. Oop, nope, don't want to get rid of that. I just want to get some stuff out of my inventory. Just a little bit. Let's see, what do we need? What do we need? I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. Let's see. Fluid tank should should be a space, so there should be the pump here. And then fluid tank is that right? No. Can this pump it from the top? I think this can pump it from the top, right? to do. Let's go fluid tank, pump, there we go. So that'll need to pump up into here. Then I'm going to need a new pump. Ah. 
and this will pump out to the spout. Spout. The only issue is, is I want this, I really want it to be lower. That's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do either. Mechanical pump. You know what? Maybe I don't need the fluid tank. Maybe I can just... to uh, get myself up here first, pump, then we can grab some pipes, beautiful, I think that's what we want, I hope that's what we want. Hopefully that's going in the right direction when we start pumping it as well. Alright, so far so good. So this is the first part of it, so we need to actually... Uh, move it over just a smidge. And that's okay. Melter, stand on, pump, want to get rid of that. Boom. There, that's looking better. lay down a shaft. <clears throat> shaft. Is that right? Is that what we want to do? How do we want to do this? Because we need... Really, really need it to... Go back and forth. I don't think it's going to be enough to fling it over that. What I'm thinking of is the... Ejectors. Which... Where are my ejectors? I thought I had ejectors. No, that's just a depot. Okay. Hoping to automate this, but that's okay. Uh, we do need ourselves some coal. Ah, there's more. That's good. Get ourselves some copper. Oh, we finished a quest of some sort. Which quest did we complete? Well, I guess. It doesn't matter. Must have been this one. Ah. Or maybe not. I don't know. Anyways, back to what we were doing. Um, let's go ahead and we'll stick that in the heater. We'll, just, we'll wait to put in the copper until later. Alright, 
grab ourselves a belt. Let's see, how do we make an ejector? I can't remember. Golden sheet, depot, and cogwheel. Okay, well, that's easy enough. We just need a cogwheel. We need a depot. ourselves a gold sheet. Gold sheet should be easy enough. We just need to get ourselves a piece of gold. Quest completed. Gold ingot. I don't know what in the world I'm completing. Alright. We smashificated that gold sheet. Or that gold ingot into a sheet. Um, nope. Still wasn't any rewards for that random quest that we got. Alright, so this uh, on top here, cogwheel, weighted ejector, there we go. Alright. Ah. We go here and then we place it here. Yeah, I think that m will probably work. We'll have to probably pick it up though for now and put it down once we have everything in place. Hmm. There is always a way to finagle this. We just don't want to look too stupid. Let's see. Next, we need we need a deployer. All right, deployer is easy enough. Do we have? Yep, we have a deployer here, and that can go. <laughs> Can go right here. Um, yeah, just like that. It'll be fun. I think. Next will be a press. A smashificator. Press. Right? That's what it's called, isn't it? A press? There it is. Mechanical press. So we do not block of iron. We need andesite casing and a shaft. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Block of iron. Only the shaft. Andesite casing. There we go. There we go. Now, the setup is pretty much complete, apart from connecting everything up. Let's go ahead and connect everything up real quick. We need gearboxes. Just make a bunch of these. Connect it up here. Now we need shafts. I want to do this. Yeah, I guess we'll just do it like this. All right, next. in the right direction. That's good. So far, so good. How do we connect all of this up? Let's see. I think the easiest way is going to be just like, just like that, I think. Okay, so let's put weighted ejector. Alright, I think that should work. We can grab ourselves some chain drives. That should <laughs> work pretty well. Um, shaft here.
here. Next we want those going. There we go. Except the question is going to be how do we get this going? Hmm. I think we're going to have to do it like this. Everything should be connected up. Let's see. I think all we need to do is stick in some copper, right? That is going the right direction. Good, 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 good. Let's see. Does it suck it up? It does suck it up. Good deal. Stick in some more copper. Not sure how much we're gonna need. So close. All right, just taking a little bit more. Uh, we need the wires though. So with wires comes great responsibility. Ah, let's go to sleep first. Take a quick nap. Ah. Quick nap. All right, and now we get to use. A rolling mill for the very first time. All right, so we'll just go ahead and stick this down. Oh no, that's not good. Um, I guess. Oh man, it takes up so much stress. Can does this work at all? Some of them do work. Uh, okay, right here. There we go. Beautiful. So let's just go ahead and do this. Is that what we wanted to do? Still going. I think that makes copper rods. Copper wire. I hope I didn't do this wrong. Oh, I did do it wrong. Dag nab it, man. We need to make. We need to press them first. Okay. That's fine. Those rods will. We'll just use that for melting for now. That's what I get for not paying attention. Um, I'll just do 32 for now. All the way into here to our lovely little press. these bad boys. Looks like we got them all. Now, now we throw this into that mill. And we'll get wires out of it. We could use a melter and get it, but we still need to get at least one in order to get, get the, um, the faceplate for it. So, let's throw those in there. What if I stand on this? Nope, nothing. Safety, kids. Safety. Do 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 do. How are we looking? Is that it? That's it. We did it, boys. We did it. Copper wires for days. All right. So copper wires go in here. Now, now is the moment of truth. Will it? Will it do it? The only problem will be picking it up later. Boom. 
Oh no, it didn't it didn't complete the <laughs> Alright, well that sucks. Okay. What if what if we extend this? Not that way. We need to get ourselves a belt. So we extend it this way just a little bit. Will that do it? Now we need to. Actually, we just need to pick this one up, I think. There we go. Let's see if that works. Next, deploy a copper wire. There's the copper wire right there. What in the world? That's what I've done. Okay, that's easily fixable though. We just need to put a shaft in here. There we go. And it's working. There we go. Now we just need to wait for it to turn into a chip. Out, out done soon. How many more has it got? Um, 33 of 36. So one more time for it. We got ourselves a redstone chip. Oh yeah. So with that, let's go ahead and get in here and let's see. Redstone chips. Yeah, we've already read that. Shimmering Heights. Huh? Let's see. Visit the, the moon dimension. Shimmer can be produced using the recipes provided and fully automated with glow ink sacks and amethyst. Shimmer can be found in underground shimmer lakes, which can be detected with the structure compass. Pumping a pool of that with a hose pulley will set you up for a long while. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. But, 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 the problem is, is how do we maintain Paving grants a minor speed boost when traveling over it. Oh, andesite paving, huh? So we need compound mixture plus any of the concrete powders. Create andesite pavement. And then we can start. <laughs> I can't get out of here. Uh, then we can start making all of our paths a little bit better. Interesting. Okay, so, let's see, what is the next step that we need to do? We need to get a shimmer bucket. Alright. Okay, that's a thing that we can do. But we need to get this compass. Explorer's compass, we need that molten iron. Alright, easy enough, easy enough. On top of a compass. Let's go ahead and we're gonna go to We don't we don't need for it to go crazy. We just need to make ourselves a compass. We need some more iron though. So with that, we're going to actually just go ahead and grab these bits. grab some more from oh my goodness I have no room in my inventory I need to clear some space I really do there we go we'll grab 
grab these ones. And go get ourselves some iron. thing for a little bit. I really, really, really think I need to clear some space in my inventory. I'll maybe do that in between the episodes. Hmm. Hold on to that in here for now. So we're going to get this nature's compass and get an empty map from it. And we're going to go find ourselves a uh, shimmer lake. Then we need to figure out how to get it back here. How do we get how do we get our shimmer lake back here? That is going to be the question. nothing in it now. We can throw in a little bit of iron. I don't know how much we need it actually, but it doesn't matter. We have infinite, so... enough in there. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I need more. There we go. Now we're cooking with a explorer's compass. Do we get anything for that? We do. Yeah, that's right. We get that map. Not that I really need or want the map right now, but that's okay. Um, I think we click on this and we go Shimmer Lake search and it says there is one hundred and seventy four blocks in that direction that's actually really close it's probably just right over here okay that's actually that's actually really good for us um, I wonder I wonder would now be a good time to get in a train so that we can get that shimmer back to us pretty simply. The other the other way that I think we could do it would be to make a bunch of um seared not glass fluid gauge because it retains its liquid when broken ingot cage. Huh. Yeah, it might be the ingot cage. Huh. Hmm. Huh. I don't know what the seared stone cell is, but we could do a bunch of these, but that's gonna cost us huh. oh, cost brass. Okay, so we can't do that. What about what about then the fuel? Nope, that costs brass as well. We don't have brass. Hmm. Well, I think... I think we might have to get into some trains in order to get that Shimmer Lake back here. I'm gonna think on that. Yep, I'm gonna have to think on that pretty good. Let's... 
real quick, I want to see how far this actually is, or where this is actually going to be at. Because we're going to want to get ourselves a pump. Since it's not too far, I'm just going to walk over there real quick. We're going to walk over there, and then we're going to get ourselves... Um, maybe we'll maybe we'll take this down and bring it over there. I think that wouldn't be a bad idea. Seventy, sixty, fifty. Oh man, we're so close. Thirty. Oh, it's gonna be over the water though. Oh no. Is it gonna be over the water? 15, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right here. So we can go right here and then maybe make our train. Man, I don't know a whole lot about the trains in this mod pack. I am unsure. We can make our train come back this way and cross a bridge, maybe. We can build ourselves a bridge, cross a bridge right here, perhaps, and drop off, say, here or something. Hey, man, I think, that, I think that's going to be an episode by itself, is making that train station and figuring out how to do the trains because man I've never done trains not on oops not on create so uh, with that oh, realistically we could just set up the pump over there we, we don't necessarily need to, to, to haul it back here but we could just set up the train and then pump it out and have the shimmer lake right over here I think that might not be a bad idea. That might be a little easier, actually. Um, however, I think that is all the time we have for today. So, if you enjoyed it, make sure you guys give it a like and a subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I would really, 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 really appreciate it. Uh, trying to grow this channel. Eventually, I'd like to be able to do this full time and uh, maybe, maybe be able to edit the videos a little better. Your subscription helps. Uh, with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. Later.